Mr. Ariz Ahmed, MD National Horticulture Board, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, to share his views with us and join us on the podium, please. Thank you so much, sir. Dear friends, it's an August gathering to discuss about innovation, nurturing talent. I just share a few of my thoughts. Uh, presently, I'm in the Ministry of Agriculture. Before that, I was in the Ministry of Human Resource Development. So I was actually involved interacting with the best minds of the country to frame a policy. Like STEM, it is uh, well known in the Western world. So we have equivalent version that is science, technology, science, mathematics, and technology. So we call it as Rashtri Avishkar Abhiyan. I do not know how many of you are aware. They basically uh, uh, take the India advance in with the culture of science right from the formative years of ch child. For nur nurturing science or innovations, we have to start from the uh, home and the school. So what we have identified is that first uh, the number of science mathematics teachers in our country are far short. We need to engage more and more. Second, their capacity building, the, the teaching of science, mathematics needs a lot of improvement. That is second priority which we have identified. The third is the laboratories of science and mathematics. Uh, me, myself is a student of science, but we never heard that there is a laboratory. There will be a laboratory for mathematics, okay? So the, the places where the critical thinking, problem solving can happen. So the laboratories of the science and technology needs a lot of dramatic improvement. Of course, all these require money investment. And another area is that once we have the teachers, their capacity building, as well as the infrastructure, laboratories, we actually need the classroom transaction to happen in an encouraging environment where trial and error could happen. My predecessor has rightly mentioned. Of course, we cannot blame only one category because school is a big environment where teacher, child, and the infrastructure, the models, what are all available. To, ha to have all these things to happen, we also need to have the supportive structures. What, what all uh, it provides, that uh, Rashtriya Vishkar Abhiyan, number one is that the, the school should be mentored. All this sudden we cannot expect a school to become an innovator, it's not. So what the policy we have what that were, uh, have played a very pivotal role is that a school should be adopted, whether it is higher, we are graded the higher secondary schools, secondary schools, and elementary schools. They should be collaborated with the higher education institutions, like IITs, NITs, engineering colleges, central universities, or university, both government and private. They should collaborate, they should adopt few higher secondary schools, secondary schools, and elementary schools. So that the teachers of the higher education visit to schools, and similarly, and also students of higher education visit the schools, and similarly, uh, the reverse. The teachers and students of the schools visit to the higher education institutions. And at least once in a month, there should be a brainstorming, visiting the respective labs, so there should be the churning should happen. That is one uh, intervention which, which was suggested there, that is mentoring of the schools. The second is the teachers should be encouraged to question themselves by forming associations. So we called it as a teacher circles. And the teacher circles to be mentored at highest level by national bodies. So the teacher circle, the teachers should be group, encourage them to form the groups, whether it's subject-wise or inter interdisciplinary. 
The third engagement proposed was the school clubs, st student clubs, whether it is science club, mathematics clubs, biotechnology clubs, or robotics clubs. The students should be encouraged to form the different clubs, and again, they should be nurtured by the teacher circles as well as and other bodies. So another aspect is that the parents, because parents also need to be sensitized what all is happening. I, I should thank uh, Mr. Manoj, who is very much here, like science report I have been studying for the last 30 years, okay, right from my uh, student uh, college days. So, but most of our school, I'm afraid at that time, 90% of our schools don't read, don't get, have a copy of the science reporter. So we cannot expect miracles without having basics. So this uh, parents also should be engaged in the science, in the talk of uh, science. So the science communication plays a very, very important role. So here uh, in sum, what I say is that this uh, Rashtriya Vishka Abhiyan uh, is a great initiative of the government of India and where the state governments are actively engaged to support these initiatives, every state government is provided with some mentor institutions. So whether it is uh, uh, some, somewhere it is science uh, centers, somewhere uh, Homibhava Science Center is also one of the mentoring for institution for this number of state governments. And we're taking the students to the science museums, or organizing uh, different activities like STEM, is a very, very imp uh, important activity to create a, a culture of science in formative years. And, to, and at the same time, because many a time I reflect upon myself, what all for education? Why should we have qualifications? Earlier people never had qualification. Why should we, I have? People, because, because we are, maybe I'm, uh, I'm 41, 51, so th millions of years human beings are there. So they don't have these qualifications. Question is that, the education has different levels of value. First is personal, to know, understand myself, oneself, to be reasonable, to appreciate my surroundings, nature, and question myself, satisfy my own curiosity. Second is social, family, then the nation, then the global. So because it should serve, it's not that education is meant for the job. Yes, that is, could be one, one reason. But the education has a very broader satisfying to the lives of the individuals. So here, uh, uh, I should thank the organization, uh, this R India Council for Robotics Automation, for creating a, a platform to nurture talent, to engage people in this particular area of critical thinking, nurturing. So I once again uh, thank the organizers for giving this opportunity and uh, to uh, to to uh, come and learn all of you. Thank you very much.